Hello kids! Welcome to another episode of Milo Home Court Training. Last week, you took up dribbling and turning with Coach Vince. Sana nag-practice kayo. For this week, we will take up passing and receiving. Isa sa pinakamagandang or pinakamasayang aspeto ng football ay kapag nakakapag-connect tayo sa ating mga teammates. At magagawa natin ito kapag marunong tayong pumasa ng tama at tumanggap ng bola ng maayos. Ang kailangan natin gamit for today ay syempre ang bola ninyo, apat na markers, and then gagawa tayo ng goal, mini goal, sa ating wall using a masking tape na mamarkahan lang natin ng pentel pen okay, para hindi naman natin mamansyahan ang ating wall. For our first exercise, we will take up passing with the inside foot and receiving with the sole of the foot. So, papasa tayo sa wall and i-receive natin or i-control natin with the sole of the foot. The sole of the foot control is usually used in indoor football or in futsal. But sa field, pwede din siyang gamitin kapag maganda yung pasa sa atin ng ating teammate. For the first drill, we will use the inside part of the foot to pass the ball and use the sole of the foot to receive or control. When you pass the ball to the wall, make sure to point your toes up, lock your ankle, bend your knee, and hit the ball at the middle using the inside part of your foot. When receiving the ball, use the forefoot part of the sole, while your support leg has to be alongside the ball and toes pointing towards your target. Once you've gotten the skill correctly, you can challenge yourself by making as many passes as you can into the mini goal for 30 seconds. Make sure your passes are accurate first before making them stronger. Be in athletic stance and stay on your toes at all times. A good score for beginners would be 15 passes. Yes, good work! Great job! After two sets, rest for 30 seconds and then do it with the other foot. It's important for football players to practice and be equally good on both feet. The game will be a lot easier if you can use both feet effectively. Remember to take note of all the coaching points every time you practice. It's really challenging in the beginning, but if we practice correctly, Progress will come sooner than later. For our second drill, pa practice in naman natin ang receiving with the inside foot. Ang inside foot receiving ay usually ginagamit sa field. Kasi marami tayong space sa field at usually unpredictable ang bounce ng bola. Pero indoors, pwede din naman siyang gamitin. When you pass the ball to the wall, make sure to point your toes up, lock your ankle, Bend your knee and hit the ball at the middle using the inside part of your foot. Once you've gotten the skill correctly, you can challenge yourself by making as many passes as you can into the mini goal for 30 seconds. Make sure your passes are accurate first before making them stronger.
After two sets, rest for 30 seconds and then do it with the other foot. It's important for football players to practice and be equally good on both feet. The game will be a lot easier if you can use both feet effectively. Remember to take note of all the coaching points every time you practice. It's really challenging in the beginning, but if we practice correctly, progress will come sooner than later. For our progression, ang unang exercise natin ay receiving with the soul, ililipat natin siya sa kabilang paa, and then ipapasa natin ng opposite foot. This exercise is similar to the first exercise. Only this time, we roll the ball towards the opposite foot and pass using that foot. Remember to use the forefoot when receiving and rolling the ball. Point your toes up, lock your ankle, and follow through every time you pass the ball with the inside of the foot. Once you've gotten the skill correctly, you can challenge yourself by making as many passes as you can in 30 seconds. Make sure your passes are accurate first before making them stronger. Always stay in the athletic stance for better balance and movement. A good score for beginners would be between 10 to 12 passes. Great work! Keep going! Good job! For our second drill, we receive tayo ng inside of the foot, nilipat natin sa kabilang paa, and we pass with the inside foot. This exercise is similar to the second one, only this time, we redirect the ball towards the other foot using the inside part. Our goal is to redirect the ball in a controlled, absorbing manner, just to the front of the opposite foot, so we can pass it right away. Point your toes up, lock your ankle, and follow through every time you pass the ball with the inside foot. Once you've gotten the skill correctly, you can challenge yourself by making as many passes as you can in 30 seconds. Make sure your passes are accurate first before making them stronger. Always stay in the athletic stance for better balance and movement. A good score for beginners would be between 10 to 12 passes. Good job! Great work! Para sa pag-challenge ng inyong sarili, pwede natin ilayo ang area natin ng 2 to 3 big steps away from the wall. This exercise will help us develop our mid-range passing and receiving skills. This can be done with all the other exercises also. Remember, accuracy first before power. Great work, everyone! Ayan, marunong na tayong pumasa ng bola. Pwede na tayong makipaglaro sa ating mga kapatid sa bahay or kapag pinayagan na tayong lumabas sa mga kalaro natin. Tandaan, champions are made when no one is looking. Kaya mag-practice ng maigi, kumain ng tama, at syempre, tumulong din sa bahay para on and off the field, champion tayo. If you want to enroll in our program, you may check the Milo website for our training schedule. All classes are online. You may also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aspire Football Academy, and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. See you all soon!